The city engineering department replaced 96 curb ramps, resurfaced 20 lane miles, and secured a $987,000 grant for additional street paving in 2023. When Evansville needed them most, the Evansville Fire Department was there answering 10,563 calls for service, extinguishing 226 working fires and responding to 5,570 emergency medical service calls. The Evansville Police Department responded to 141,619 calls for service, certified 129 crisis intervention team officers, and took 577 illegal guns off the street. While Central Dispatch answered 146,000 calls for service in 2022. The Evansville Water and Sewer Utility produced 7.9 billion gallons of water from our treatment plant, replaced 105 fire hydrants, cleaned 81 miles of sewer mains, and repaired 273 water main breaks. That's a 25% decrease from 2021. The Levy Authority pumped over 5 million gallons of rainwater from our city storm sewers to the Ohio River during flood events. From the Transportation and Services Department, street maintenance crews filled 8,839 potholes. METS ridership increased by 13% year over year and Animal Control transferred 960 pets to rescues. ADA functionality was added to the government's webpage to better serve our community thanks to computer services. And the Department of Metropolitan Development was busy breaking ground for 54 affordable housing units, providing free Wi-Fi to 1,500 users each month thanks to a partnership with the Promise Zone and the EVSC and approving 40 small business loans totaling over $1.7 million to help fund commercial businesses and create jobs. While Mesker Park Zoo and Botanic Garden welcomed 205,766 visitors, a new record, and they reached new heights with 2,025 unique educational programs that 240,000 community members attended. The Deaconess Aquatic Center was a big splash thanks to the Evansville Parks and Recreation Department with 3,569,720 laps completed. 25 college swim team competitions were hosted at the Lily King Competition Pool and 40 community swims were held.